For those who walk these halls, St. George's College is as synonymous to Manning Cup as Jamaica is to track and field during the Olympics. But in recent years, they've left the competition empty-handed. Mona High are into the semi-finals. They've got by St. George's College and in the end, audacity got the better of legacy. This is football. One day St. George's look like Brazil and the next day they look like Georges, you know? Uh, it's football. So we know what to expect and we try our best every time. The North Street Base Institution has been in a rebuilding phase since the COVID-19 pandemic. Yet, thanks to their stellar program, they've managed to stay competitive. When I came back to St. George's in 07, I told everybody my role is to get this team to be competitive. And in my opinion, competitive means we must be in the semi-final, we must be close um, to, you know, to the, to the man in court. People must be talking about us. And I think I've achieved that. We have achieved that. Bell has a look at the official. St. George's College are through. Look at them go. While we're seeing the reward at the man in court level, the preparation for success started long before the stage. The most important part of the program is the under-14s. And when you get to my group, I really should only be talking strategy. I shouldn't be telling you how to pass and how to control. We, we have a culture here, how we want to play the game, uh, and, and that's what we do. Even the players take part in the planning. This is not a coach and player thing. We're, we're a family, and we talk about these things. We, I ask the kids who they want to play. Sometimes I will say, you know, you prefer this or you prefer that. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do year in, year out, because I don't know who I have. So when I see what the players can do, then I decide to form yourself. Sir, good afternoon. What I want to tell you, that camera is on, and I can tell you. It's a wonderful coach. He can come from any environment, but at the end of the day, you know, he knows how to guide you, and that's the most important thing. He is very motivating, he's very positive. My thing is to improve these youngsters. If they want to play football, hopefully they will be able to do that. It's since 07, Close to 150 St. George's kids got full scholarships since I came back in 07. To me, that, that is huge. So I want to win, and I want to win badly, and I work to win. But when the kids win, I win, man. I win.